Thank you very much, Dr. Helen. And uh, now I will try to continue building, like all of us, an universal picture so that when we go out of here tomorrow, we have many different things to think about. In 1965, when I was a medical student back in Colombia, I was studying microbiology, parasitology, and I became interested in something that was very new in those days, and was psychoimmunology. And I remember I started to study the publication from Los Angeles from Dr. George Solomon and Francis Moses on the influences of emotions and negative emotions for the development, development of any human disease. And I became fascinated, as many of you, with the work of Hans Lee. And uh, my view on AIDS, as many of you know, is a consequence of my study of Hans Lee. For me, what is known as AIDS is a condition of the human adaptation. If we go back, if we really want to understand what is going with AIDS and with many other dis conditions, I would suggest you to go back and read the very first papers of Hans Lee. In 1936, Selene explained for us what is AIDS, what could be AIDS, and as a general adaptation syndrome. And he explained in nature um, what was the general adaptation syndrome. Then, in 1946, he wrote in the clinical or journal endocrinology this picture, picture, this graphic that is still is current, updated nowadays. And it's amazing to me. Because for him, he was the one who created the name stress to understand the human responses to many external toxins that he called stressors or to many internal stressors as well. And he explained it many ways how the stress response works out through the hypothesis, the adrenal cortex, as you remember, the cortisol. But something that amazes to me is that in those days, in 1946, he explained it that any human being that is under a lot of stress, it has a thymus and a lymph node atrophy, and that the immune system of the animal or the human became depressed. And he was showing lymphopenia, an increase in circulatory antibodies, very similar to the picture that immunologists are trying to sell to us about AIDS. We live in a world that mention of us have been mention of us have been mentioning today that is polluted, full of toxins. We have been in the last few years polluting there. We have been eating garbage, agrochemical, pesticides, insecticides, fungi fungicides. We came to these crazy ideas due to the humaniac or megalomaniacs of industrials and human beings trying to prove that we could create better food than the one that existed forever. And we create and we polluted the food, the crops, and we created just in my book, in the very first book that I wrote 15 years ago, I explained how in this 20s, in the last 20th century and the beginning of this 21, we have created more than a million chemic chemicals that were spread all over the planet with the terrible consequences. I can, uh, David, I cannot move from here. How can I move it? Okay, I think it's better if I, I make a sign and you help me from there. Thanks a lot. Okay, so we, because I want to show this one very quick, because it's just, good. thanks a lot. So here, you know how we are creating a lot of electromagnetic fields all over, and not only these ones, also you have to remind how many satellites, United States and Russia and many other countries are putting to circulate around there and, 
and we think that nothing is going on, that nothing is changing. <laughs> Can you help me to change? More electromagnetic fields. And we, crazy humans, have placed in this planet more than 400 nuclear reactors. Look where we are. And uh, I used to live in New York for 20 years, full of reactivity. Thanks God in Brazil, where I live now, is only one nuclear reactor. In South America, we only have two. So whenever something exploded here, we are waiting for all of you there in South America. More than 70,000 nuclear bombs have been built by the humans. And the food that we eat is completely corrupted with vaccines, hormones, antibiotics, genetic alterations. We just need to go and start to study what the World Health Organization and the FAO are planning for the food of the human beings for this century in the Codes Alimentarius. This doesn't want to move, David. Is which one here? Because it doesn't want to move. OK. And we created, there are more than 2,000 pharmaceutical companies spreading their toxins all over the planet. And look at this. And they are in beautiful colors and in beautiful bottles, like if they were something nice and safe. That's how they say the toxic antiretrovirals. And we didn't have enough, so we decided to create drugs, and marijuana, and cocaine, and heroin, and rash, poppers, and things like that. And all these stressors, like Salie should tell, are all chemical, physical, biological, nutritional, and mental origin, are creating a lot of toxic effects on different species, not only on humans, animals, the fruits, the plants, and everything. And this is why, in the last 25 years, I have been following the immune deficiencies in different animals that are in the scientific literature. So they are showing that dolphins, some whales, seals, sea lions, sea lions, Atlantic sharks, coral reefs, sea sponge, salmon, iguanas, lizards, turtles, the, the bear from the Great Lakes, albatrosses, vultures, mooses, polar bears, horses, minks, frogs, and many other animals are suffering of immune deficiency. The honeybee case is a very interesting one that was announced in October 2006 in the United States. And I invite all of you to go to understand the honeybee's AIDS. That was the title that the New York Times mentioned in October 2006. And the dolphins from the Yangtze River are over. Last year was the last one. We humans destroy all of them. Next. And immunodefic immune deficiency is also growing in plants. With a group of agricultural individuals, I have been doing some research in the United States and now in South America, showing that there are an increment, an increase of viral, bacterial, fungal, and parasitic diseases in many trees all over the planet. That means that the immune system, that the defenses of the plants are also suffering for the craziness that we are doing in this planet. 